This is Carl at National RV Detroit. I'm going to walk you through this 2018 KZ Durango 2500 model number um, 347BHF. So this is a how-to video. I'm going to show you some of the features and how they work. It's not a it's not a floor plan video. It's a how-to video. So let me let me start here at the door side rear. So you have a refrigerator in the outside kitchen. Okay, you have running water. Uh, this is a uh, two burner um, cooktop, of course. Um, let's see, this, this particular sink drains here, so keep that in mind. Um, let me look under here. You also have two gas hookups right there. So to connect to the to the LP system, you have that quick connect there. And then you have another one here. Where is it? Right here. So two quick connects to the gas system. Uh, this vent right here is the vent for the range hood. So if you're using the fan in the range hood to vent to the outside of the trailer, make sure you push up on those two little latches there so the, the, uh, the um, baffle will flap freely if you're venting the outside. Otherwise, you could just keep it shut. Okay, you have a power awning. This is your vent for your furnace. You have outside speakers. You have a power and TV signal out right there if you wanted to put a TV out here. Pass through storage. Uh, batteries are in here. Battery compartment is here. You also have a kill switch for the battery right there if you want to shut it off. This is the auto leveler control here. Uh, this is a, let me look real quick here. This is a four point leveling system. So um, the direction separator are right here. The two main functions you use are auto level, of course, and then the other one is, uh, is hitch height. Hitch height is the last position the trailer was in before you auto level. So when you, when you disconnect it from the, from the uh, tow vehicle and pulled it away, it'll remember that position when you auto level, right? So then when you're ready to leave, you push hitch height and it put it right back in that same position so you can slide right underneath with your tow vehicle, okay? To turn this on, you push both arrows at the same time. Just like that, okay? All right. All righty, so. Storage, of course. These are two 30-pound LP tanks here. Right there with regulator. All right, you have a uh, um, pass-through storage. This is your dump hose and a, and a as well as a uh, re reducer for the power cord. Um, this is a quick connect here. I don't know if I can, I can do it one handed. Let me see. Yeah. So this is a quick connect right here. Um, okay. So you do have a water pump switch out here. There's also one inside. You got cable and satellite through here. And then you've got um, you look at each one of these drawings, they, they, they tell you what position to put the five valves in to, to get you what you desire to do. So if you want city water hookup, you're going to hook the water right onto here, and you're going to put it in this position here, all the valves. Um, if you're going to winterize, you're going to do it like this. Matter of fact, it's set up and winterized right now, okay? If you're going to go dry camping, first you got to fill the fresh water tank. So you'd put the valves in this position here, it'll fill the tank through here. And then you would go to dry camping and turn on the pump and you can pump water out of the tank. Okay, uh, these are uh, black tank flushes. The black tank flushes, you just, the only thing to remember is, uh, is if after you dump the black tank, you have to leave the valve open before you turn the water on. That's important. So make sure you do that. Your, your valves are down here. Okay, let, let me get this loose here. Okay, so this is the water heater. Right now it's, it's um, empty because it's winterized. 
you put your drain plug right in here that's it right there um, you have a switch right here uh, for the electric heating element you also have uh, the main switch inside to turn on the gas burner um, I'll show you that when we get inside there so enter the 16 six point socket to remove the, the plug from the uh, from the um, water heater let me get this back on here see if I can do one with one hand uh oh answer my own question here <laughs> there we go okay so this has a 50 amp shore cord so you have your 50 amp cord plus we give you this reducer here to reduce it down to a 30 and then we can use the other one here which we will reduce it down to a 20 if you need to so you should be able to plug in no matter what there's another hook up for your uh, your dump and there's the valve there okay uh, this rack folds up and down for bicycles or whatever you have a ladder which is great because you, it makes it easy to inspect the roof manufacturer says, says every 30 or I mean, excuse me every 90 days 60 to 90 days uh, go up there and inspect the roof make sure it's there's no damage from low branches or um, the, um, there's no uh, uh, separation or anything like that at the caulk and uh, sealant so just make sure it's in good shape all right so I get some lights here okay so right here this is a carbon oxide LP gas detector it should always be green if it's not you get it serviced it goes off you take everybody outside leave the door open shut the gas off figure out what's going on okay right here this is your thermostat it's an analog thermostat try to keep your fan on auto right there and then one click to the right is heat uh, then you go back to off and one click to the left is the fan which is just just the air conditioner running without the compressor and then two over is, is air conditioning so okay um, let me do this here there we go so this is your touch panel up here okay so you got your bedroom slide all your slides are listed up here let me get in a better position here I know you can't see it very well let me just kitchen slide and main slide so there this is basically is are your slide outs you can also go back to home with it um, your awnings are here as you can see hopefully you can see um, your leveling system I showed you the controller outside right um, it's loading right now hold on there we go so they also have a, a controller on this touch panel it does the same thing but it has a it has some more features you can auto level with it or excuse me you can manually level with it you would just scroll down to there and push enter and then you can operate the jacks independently of each other so that's the main difference okay and see if we can get back here then there's just lighting you just basically you can control all the lights from here um, like right there so okay you can also get a, a, a an app for this you can download the app uh, from either Apple Store or from um, Google Google Play okay now this panel here is for your well it's for lighting and water you have lights here okay you you can um, light your water heater automatic or electric here right and on gas here right now it's empty because it's winterized so remember before you turn any of the, the gas or electric on you always want to make sure you put water in there first or else it could damage it water pump here that's for pumping water out of the fresh water tank if you don't have city water it's also for winterizing the trailer um, and to light it on gas right there okay batteries charged fresh water so on and so forth black and gray um, you you can distinguish between the main black tank and the other one by moving this toggle so the the black will register the different tanks by by flipping the uh, toggle let's walk back here for a second so I make sure I'm giving you the right information here okay yeah so 
you have two toilets in this trailer, so you have two black tanks. One and two. One is up front, and this is this is black tank two here. So um, that's why you, they give you two black tank flushes at the at the uh, water panel up there. Okay. Um, these I'll talk about the toilet and how it works when we get to the to the back up to the front one. There's more room to to move here, so um, we'll do that. Um, your sink obviously is self-explanatory, so it's pretty straightforward. And that, that's of course the the rear entrance door there. Okay, so let's look around. This one folds down into another bunk, so there's two on that side, and then this will turn into. Let me see which one we have here. This this actually turns into a bed, a fold-out bed. So you have a bunk here, a fold-out bed here. Let's see. This this folds to the up position like so. So you can get it out of the way when you're sitting there. And of course you have TV hookup and that sort of thing. Um, it's very nice actually as bunk rooms go, it gives you a lot of a lot of room. Very flexible. Okay. So uh, the this table on the dinette, you can take the poles off, drop the top down on these cleats here, and then fill it in with the cushions and turn it into a bed. Okay, you have another fold-out bed here, so you're just going to grab it down, take take the back cushions off, grab it here and fold it out, so that's another uh, place to sleep. Um, microwave works like any other microwave. This is the range hood I told you about. If you're going to vent to the outside, make sure you open that baffle on the outside. Um, to light, I don't know if he's got the gas on or not, but we'll see. To light it, you have three burners and three knobs, right? Then that's this knob here is for the the uh, oven. Let me see if he's got the gas turned on. Yeah, he does. So right there. Okay, to light the oven, which looks like it's never been used, which is typical. We see this all the time. Um, all the way at the back there, there's a pilot light. It's hard to see. Um, yeah, you can see me sparking it back there. That's where it's at. So what you do is you go to the oven knob and you go to pilot. And then you depress it. You keep it depressed during the whole lighting procedure. Then with the other hand, you're going to spark it till the pilot light down there at the lower back lights. After it lights, you still hold it for another 10 seconds or so to heat up the thermocouple. And then you're, you're all set. You put it to whatever temperature you want. When you shut it off, the pilot light goes out. So you have to relight the pilot light each time you use the, uh, the oven. Okay? Sink here, obviously. These are your keys. You have a fireplace. Let me see where were the remotes are here. Okay, here we go. I don't know if we have... Which ones we have here? Looks like this is the TV remote here. And then this is a, a remote for power roof vent up here. So the, the lid on it is automatic and the motor is automatic so you can turn it off on and off from here. Okay. Let's see here. I just want to look around a little bit. Let's see what I've got here. Okay. So, when it comes to your fireplace, you have on and off here. Oh, switch. There's also a switch here that you can use. Um, some Most people leave it on. That one was off, but I just turned it on. Um, you can uh, adjust the heat. See that it says zero, 00 there? LL, that's low, and that's high. That's the fan speed, off, low, or high. Um, when you turn it on high, it really kicks out the heat, of course. You can, you can change the, um, the intensity of the flame, like that. Um, let's see what else we have. Thermostat, and there's also a timer on it, so you can, you can set the timer to turn it on and off when you, when you want to, okay? All right, so over here for sound, let me see what we've got here. So this has Bluetooth, so you can stream wirelessly from your phone or your tablet. It has a radio, built-in radio, AM, FM radio. Um, it has, um, let me get closer so I can see here. It has, uh, let me see here. It has two speaker zones, A and B. A is inside the trailer, B is outside the trailer. So there's a lot you can do with it, okay? Let me look a little farther this way. Uh, 
Um, you also have a power vent here. You have um, uh, your shower and your sink work like any other sink and shower. Now the toilet, if you've, I'm sure you've owned tra trailers before, but right now that's antifreeze in it right there. There's the flush pedal. So when you get to the campground and hook up your power and your water, you'll come in here. The black tank is directly below the toilet. So the, the toilet in the back has a black tank directly below it too. That's why there's two different tank flushes, right? So anyway, you'll put a, one dose of chemical in the bowl, then you'll step on the pedal and hold it down until about a gallon of water goes into the black tank along with the chemical. Um, then you're all set. You can use more than a gallon if you want. Some people do, but at least a gallon. And um, the main thing is you can't use it dry because the smell will be terrible. Also, it can get clogged up, so you always want chemical and water in it before you use it. You do that with both toilets, of course, because there's, each one has its own black tank. These are GFCIs here. All the plugs in the trailer are wired through a GFCI. Even if it doesn't physically have one, it's still wired through it. Even the plug on the outside, so keep that in mind. Here we are in the bedroom. We have another uh, air conditioning thermostat here for your second air conditioner. Um, let's see what else we have here. We have a um, washer-dryer combo. And uh, this is the storage here. It did have, a, it looks like it did have a, a um, I can't tell if they put that on, but if you wanted to, you could cut a board to put on there to make this into a shelf. They choose to do it this way, so it's, it's up to you. Your antenna is right there. It doesn't go up and down. It just rotates. So, okay. And here you have a closet for your wardrobe stuff, your hanging stuff. Okay. Also, I don't know if I can get this one-handed here. I can't. But there's, there's, there's storage underneath the bed here. And a, and a second TV also. Smoke detector. Okay. So, basically um, we, uh, we have a touch panel. Remember I told you the, the leveling system can be operated from outside the trailer and, or from inside the trailer, either or. Um, it shows battery, fresh water, black water, and gray. When it comes to black water, you can flip this, these back and forth, and it'll flip the sensors, okay? So you can, you can see what's in it. You can, you, can, uh, you can check the levels in both of them. All right, the refrigerator is a, let me do this here, is a gas absorption refrigerator. So here we go, it says AC. AC is the most um, common way to do it. AC stands for automatic or AC power. Um, when you put it on this, here, let me do it this way. Right now it's, it's, it's going back and forth because we're, we're not plugged in at this point. So. Um, when it goes to AC, um, or I'm sorry, let me back up. When it goes to AU, that's automatic. That's that's what you want. Uh, the reason you want automatic because it, it automatically seeks out electricity, right? And if it can't find it, it'll automatically light it on gas. Also, if you have a um, a power outage during the day, let's say you've gone invest or gone uh, exploring for the day, it'll. Uh, It'll uh, automatically switch over to gas if you lose power, so it'll spoil your food. You can put it on dedicated to here. Let me do dedicated to LP if you want. Uh, auto AC LP. So auto is the way to go. You can dedicate it to LP when you're pulling it down the road, but if you don't have any AC power, it'll, it'll automatically switch there anyway. If that's, if that makes sense. Hopefully, I'm starting to confuse myself sometimes here. So okay. I just wanted to look back here for a second to make sure I gave you the accurate info about the levels. Yeah, so that's right. Okay, so I want to thank you for purchasing your trailer here at National RV Detroit. Um, please remember what I said about inspecting the roof. That's important a couple times a summer. If you see any issues with the caulk or the, the sealant, take care of it. If you see any damage from low branches or whatever, take care of it. Um, and also, right now, this trailer is is uh, is winterized, meaning that the, the uh, water's been purged and replaced with antifreeze, and uh, the water heater itself is bypassed and drained. So um, it's all set for the winter. Okay, okay. Thank you very much.